Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is just a review and kind of demonstration on how to use the powders from What's Up Nails. They sent me some chrome powders and some holographic powder and also a stamping plate and um, a clear stamper with scraper. I'm going to go ahead straight away and apply some black gel polish onto my nail because I just find you get a much better opacity and colour of the chrome powder you are about to use. You still want to apply this really thin and I always only just do one coat because you are going to then apply a top coat on that, your powder and then re-top coat. Once that's cured I just like to dip my finger into the powder and then rub that onto the nail. Before you add your powders you must remember to use a no wipe top coat, um, you can use any tack free top coat, here I'm using CJP because that is just the one that I use, um, or you can use it straight on top of one step gel polishes because that leaves no sticky residue. Um, you just want to apply this thin and make sure you cap all of your edges and your sidewalls so that you can get the powder right in there. This is the next powder. This one is called Alchemy Powder. No, sorry, the first one was called Alchemy Powder. This one is called Fairy Powder. And I'm just showing you on my finger how little you need to use and that covers the entire surface of that nail. And once I'm happy with all that coverage, I will then take my duster brush and brush off all the excess powder. Then I will reapply top coat and cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. So this here is the holographic powder and it is a personal favourite of mine. Um, you see you get one gram in a pot. My only downfall about this powder is it is quite expensive. Now this powder was expensive anyway, even to buy in the UK. But I think for the one I bought here in the UK it was only like £20 for one gram. Um, I've looked on the What's Up Nails website and this one comes in at 38 US dollars which works out about 31, 32 pound Great British pounds. So for me that's just not a realistic price to pay for one gram of powder but you know some people will pay and that's just my opinion on that. Um, however, the powder was beautiful and you can see how amazing the effect you got with it. It's not like the cheap ones where you can still see grains. It really does come out holographic. But the price was just a bit of a put off for me personally. So can you tell how in love I am with that effect of that powder though? It's just amazing. So now I'm just going to reapply my top coat and then we're going to move on to the stamping plate. On 
top coat has cured, I'm going to go ahead and use their stamping plate. This is the one they sent me. It's a beautiful whole plate design with a clear jelly stamper and scraper. And I'm just using some Orly nail varnish. Um, I did have some issues with this just because I am a crap at stamping. I have never been able to stamp in my whole entire life, which is why I don't own any stamping plates or any stamping polish. But after a bit of advice, I um, didn't prep the actual jelly thing. People were saying to buff it, some were saying to use acetone, others were saying not to use acetone, but I didn't actually end up doing anything to the stamper. I literally just had to change the polish because I was using OPI Chrome and it just dried far too quickly and I wasn't able to pick up the stamp. So there you can see the stamp that's picked up on the stamper and I'm just going to roll that onto the nail. And I was like super chuffed with this because as I've said previously, I just can't stamp for the life of me. But this stamping plate or I don't know what it was, but I was just so chuffed with how this stamp came out. So I think it's definitely something I'll probably try investing my time in just a little bit more and give it a little bit more of a chance. But as you can see, that stamp looks amazing over that holographic powder and especially the purple as well. It kind of just gives it a little something extra. So when that is dry, I'll then go ahead and just clean away the polish on the plate with some acetone. And then I will clean the stamper, the scraper and also not the stamper, sorry, the scraper and also the excess around my nails. Because we've done a service, I am just going to finish off with some of my own cuticle balm just to replenish any lost nutrients. I also want to take this time to thank What's Up Nails for sending me these products. I've really enjoyed doing this review. Thank you everyone for watching and thank you everyone for getting me to 36,000 subscribers. I am super mega chuffed and I just can't explain how much I love you all. Thank you so much and see you again soon. Bye!